What's up guys, my name is Corfin and in this video I'm going to tell you some of my favorite facts and easter eggs from Sly 2, one of my favorite games of all time. Sly 2 is an action adventure game released in 2004 by Sucker Punch. Receiving overall great reviews, it also sold around 1.8 million units according to VGCharts.com, making it a great success for Sucker Punch. One of the earliest level designs in Sly 2 never made it to the final game. It took place in Monaco and was supposed to be a fancy rich area with a Riviera and a casino. As it was one of the first levels made for the game, it helped shape the open world design of the other levels. One of the cut missions on this level was a heist where Bentley would crash a yacht into the casino and the Cooper gang would rob it. The team worked on this level for 6 to 8 months before scrapping it. This was what, 6 months we worked on this? 8 months? Yeah, a shamefully long amount of time, and it didn't even make it into the game. Yeah. I remember in this level uh, we were going to have Bentley steal a giant yacht and smash it through all of these docks and eventually uh, bash it into that large uh, building which was a casino so that the Cooper gang pulled off a pretty sweet heist. As a part of the PR campaign for Sly 2, Sucker Punch launched a Sly comic issue published by GamePro Magazine and DC Comics. The comic takes place between Sly 1 and Sly 2 and also introduces Dimitri as a character. While the Monaco level never made an entry in the final game, the comic issue takes place in Monaco, hinting that this comic may tell some of the cut story elements of the final game. Sly 2 has a lot of easter eggs, here are some of the cooler ones. In the tutorial museum level, you can see paintings on the walls of bosses from Sly 1, as well as early concept art for Sly Cooper. In the episode A Tangled Web, you can find references to two older Sucker Punch characters from the game Rocket Robot on Wheels. On a grave outside one of the crypts, you can find a tombstone with the words R.I.P. Rocket. You can also find Jojo, another character from the game, if you stand on a pillar in the crypt and use your goggles. In the first episode of the game, you can go into a disco club. If you hit one of the turntables, the music playing will change to a remixed version. Show your bling and let me shine. Also in this nightclub, there's a picture of an Asian guy playing the guitar for some reason. There's also a weird fish that seems out of place, but I don't know what that's about. You can use a code to unlock a power-up known as Tom. This robot character will lure guards by yelling to them. Tom is from Toonami on Cartoon Network. Toonami had a competition with Sly 2, which may have led to this partnership and cameo. One of the most memorable villains from the game is Dimitri from the first level. A weird individual taking a passion for art and crime, he soon became a fan favorite. While he is French, he speaks a weird version of English. According to the developers of the game, Dimitri learned all his English from watching hip-hop videos and trying to sound like the artist. Completing the game 100% gives you access to 5 secret movies. Two of them are commercials for the game one of them featuring rapper Lala Anthony, one is a behind the scenes featurette, another one is a short cinematic featuring the robbery of a stamp, and the last one is the credits. All of these short movies were removed for the Sly collection on PS3. Ratchet Clank 3 released a month after Sly 2 and features a demo of Sly 2. If you hold all the shoulder buttons R1, R2, L1, L2, you'll unlock it. By completing this demo, you earn a double bladed lightsaber for Ratchet in Ratchet and Clank 3. When it came to the re release of the Sly Collection on the PS3, some small changes were made in the game. Most of the previously mentioned secret movies, such as the commercials, were no longer accessible. Another small but important change was the censorship of a cinematic scene, including gambling. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. 
A part of the game that many players didn't even pay attention to was the possibility to use a USB microphone in the game to distract the guards. Speaking into the mic while being in close proximity to the guards will make them come towards you. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and subscribe for more.